What role does the police play when we talk about either man-made disasters or natural disasters? Absolutely. Uh, which is the primary uh, constitutional uh, duty of the police, of the police. as well as uh, uh, duties of the police as enshrined in Section 4 of the Police Act and Regulations. Okay. Uh, Whenever there is a disaster like uh, flooding that is uh, happen presently happening in the Anambra state, mm-hmm. the first role of the police is to make sure that they save life. In those uh, disaster prone areas, you discover that because of the flooding, some people are unable to know how, uh, how to swim. This thing will take them on aware. Maybe some are using their vehicles and they will be caught up. Mm-hmm. So it is a uh, responsibility, part of the responsibility of the police to ensure that this kind of people who are vulnerable to this uh, flood uh, 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 disaster are saved. Okay. Yes, they will be evacuated to a safer location where their life will be secured first. Okay. So this is the first role of the police in terms of our disaster management. And when in other disasters, the, it depends on the nature of the disaster. The intervention of the police in the disaster management depends on the nature of the disaster. Okay. In a disaster like explosion, the police has to cut down the area the parameters first. Yes. of that area. Yes. Okay. In order to avoid people who are ignorant or who are oblivious of the disaster that is happening in that place to now come in and be part of and be victims of that uh, disaster. Okay. When the police secure the area, then the police will now move in and begin to do uh, rescue operation and then move people who are affected who need intervention medical intervention to the hospital for urgent medical attention Mm -hmm. those people who need to be secured they should be taken to a safer location and then patrol in order to avoid those hoodlums or uh, or, that's a very good thing you've said because people also take advantages of disasters so apart from trying to Codon people and ensuring that lives and properties are safe. I'm yes. sure yes. the police also has to ensure that people don't capitalize yes. Yes. On, the, on the disaster. Yes, this is the secondary role now. The, after the place is secured, the, the motive behind securing the place is one, to make sure that those people who are not victims will not come and um, fall uh, 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 as casualties. Okay. Then, to also prevent mischief makers and hoodlums who now cash on the situation Absolutely. to loot properties. Absolutely. Because especially during fire disasters, during issue, even during explosion. So people just come around and people will now come along. Yes. On. Even during when tanker is during tanker exploration, most of the victims they, will, they are the ones that will rush looking for spoils, looking for petrol, looking for this kind of situation. So before you know it, when there is explosion, you see that they will not fall, fall uh, part of the victims of such a disaster. How can we as individuals prevent massive disaster? I mean, disaster, whether it's small or not, the, 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 the summary is that it's something that, one, comes unexpected, like yes. you pointed out, and two, comes with devastating consequences. Yes. How do, one, the citizens try and prevent disasters from happening? Yes. And then two, how does the police also have intervention preventive me- uh, mechanisms to ensure that disasters don't happen in large mag- magnitudes. You see, the first thing, some of these disasters have early warning uh, signs. Okay. Like uh, the flood disasters, because of the nature of the, the development in terms of uh, detecting uh, meteorological, meteorological yes. uh, instruments that yes. are used to detect whether there is going to be heavy downflow or not in a particular season, in a mm-hmm. particular area. Mm-hmm. Such kind of informations Government normally uh, sensitize members of the public prior to the disaster. Okay. Warning members of the society who are affected, who, who, who are in such areas to be at alert and, if possible, to evacuate from also that. Uh, Nigeria, it's NEMA. National um, 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 NEMA. NEMA is the one who handles information about meteorological occurrences do they have any synergy with the police like yes. other than warning the general public and say okay there's going to be a heavy flood there's going to sorry there's going to be a heavy downpour which would lead to flooding in certain areas do they also send that kind of information to the police we have a collab- good collaboration with uh, intervention agencies whenever there is disaster okay uh, for example like you mentioned the NEMA. NEMA is restricted to the state we have also a NEMA is NEMA national, is national. Then we CIMA. have we have CIMA, CIMA as well. is, yes then we have state o- emergency management yes. agency yes. to the state yes. yes then we have other NGOs then we have sister agencies 
Okay. All these sister agencies, the Nigeria Army, the Nigeria Navy, the, uh, the Civil Defense, mm -hmm. Security Service, mm -hmm. uh, Road Safety, etc., Fire Service, yes. all these organizations, we used to collaborate together in terms of managing a disaster situation. Okay. And each and every organization has its specific role to play when it comes to disaster management. Let's narrow this conversation down to the flooding in Alhambra. I know about five communities have been submerged. A lot of people have lost lives, have lost properties, farmlands have been submerged, and people have lost um, a lot. I know the, 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 the state government has also uh, opened up holding centers where people are supposed to go. What intervention is the police having, having in issues like the flood currently experiencing Anambra State? The, the state government has uh, sectorized the IDP, IDP camps okay. in various uh, locations. Uh, precisely, we have about six different uh, camps now in Anambra State. We have the St. James uh, Anglican Church uh, School, Iowa, and uh, we have Central School, Odepe, and then we have Obaru Local Government Council uh, uh, Secretariat. We have Father Joseph School, Aguleri, and then we have Crowder Primary School, Onisha, near Holy Trinity uh, Church, okay. and then we have Osamala. Okay. These are the IDP camps sectorized by the government and each and every camp have security protection okay. where police are deployed both from the divisional uh, police stations and from the state commands and as i'm speaking to you now the commissioner of police uh, cp Gabawa, has given an, a directive that more police patrol vehicles should be deployed to those areas to patrol the area and to secure the IDP camps. So the role the police plays basically in those kind of um, the holding centers is basically to ensure that people's lives are protected. Number one. Number one. Yes. In addition to what? Number one, to save life. Okay. Yes. Number two, to protect uh, properties. Okay. And then number three, to secure the areas affected and provide adequate security where the victims are sheltered, like the IDP camps. Mm -hmm. Then we have patrols and confidence building. We patrol the area and we give confidence to the people who are affected, either directly or indirectly, mm -hmm. uh, from this uh, disaster. Then we have sensitization and awareness campaign. What we are doing now is part of the sensitization to raise awareness about this disaster and the action to be taken when they are uh, found uh, victims of this uh, disaster. So what action should people take if they're found in safety? Disasters? Safety is the first uh, option. Once you notice that this kind of disaster is approaching you, mm -hmm. it's safety. safety safety of your life first mm -hmm. for example if you are moving in a vehicle we have so many records that shows that people during flooding they will try to take risk of moving with their vehicle and then those vehicles Under, get submerged yes, undermining the strength and the power of the water the flood. yes okay. before you know it the, the vehicle will not be so much along with the occupant of the vehicle so the first thing you should do is to save yourself whenever you notice that disaster is approaching you especially mm -hmm. flooding mm -hmm. you save yourself Okay. If you are in a moving vehicle and you discover that it is very likely that you are going to be engulfed with this kind of exercise, save your life. Park the car and then... Vehicle is a property. What will give you? Okay. But life has no duplicate. So make sure you save your life. I know the governor has been um, reiterating for the past, um, I think, a week or more. People in certain areas should move away. People in riverine areas that are prone to the flood yes. should move away to go to the holding camps. And I know that there are about 29, 30 actually holding camps scattered around the whole state in different local governments that the government has put in place. Now, a lot of people have refused to heed that call. So when you talk about safety, and you just said the vehicle is a property, Yes. It can be replaced. Yes. We still have people that find it very difficult to leave their places of abode. They feel, okay, no, this is our home. This is where we live. And they don't want to leave until the flood now comes and it becomes a bigger problem. problem. What can the police do to ensure or enforce that people actually leave these places that are not safe enough for them and move to places that are safer for their lives there are so many factors that can make somebody not to uh, relocate to from the flood uh, area he may, he may that place might be his last place of abort he might be ignorant of all the situation 
he might not even have access to the electronic or, or the social media where this uh, information are passed mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. So I still believe that there is need for more sensitization and awareness. Okay. Government should extend the sensitization beyond using the media. Okay. Do you understand? What mm -hmm. would you uh, advise? Use of, use of like uh, the traditional institutions as well. Maybe through town crier because some people are, the environment where people are, sometimes the environment play a very important role in their life. Mm -hmm. They attach themselves to the environment they have earned it. They found it very difficult to That's what we are experiencing. Yes. Where people find it very, yes. very difficult yes. to relocate. Yes. So or they feel that maybe the flood won't affect them mm -hmm. or they can swim out of it. I don't know mm -hmm. why one would place himself. It depends. It depends on the mentality and it depends on the culture and the orientation of the particular person okay. that you are trying to sensitize. But the most important thing is that, like I said, uh, safety of life was uh, the society, the government and other key intervention agencies should try as much as possible to un educate and sensitize those people that their life is more important than anything that they occupy in that environment. Okay. That, if you succeeded in inculcating that belief in them, the other aspect is secondary. They will first of all secure themselves and then other things will follow. Okay. Apart from security that the police provides in the um, holding centers that you've called out yes. and providing adequate security to ensure that people feel safe while they're there. Yes. What else can the police do or what else is the police doing to ensure that um, other than just safety, what about amenities? Does the police also help to ensure that relief materials get to these people from maybe point A to point B, where they are? Yes, okay. the, like that is why I, that is an important aspect of the patrol. Okay. In addition to patrol, we have uh, officers who are deployed to monitor the situations okay. in order to avoid diversion of relief materials. Okay. The okay. government. When you will, say diversion, what yes. does that mean? Diversion means government has given. Or individuals or NGOs have given relief materials to be provided to to the IDP camps, mm -hmm. but because of one reason or the other, the the ID relief material will not reach its destination because of the selfish interest of some few individuals mm -hmm. who tend to misappropriate or corner the relief materials uh, not to reach the those people that are meant for. Mm -hmm. So it is the role of the police to make sure that those relief materials get to get that, to the destination. Okay, great. So in as much as the police have the record uh, of the of the relief material that should be moved from point A to point B, such movement should be monitored by the police okay. to ensure that such goods reach the the victims instead of being uh, diverted. Okay, good. What's the synergy? I know the um, the governor has um, directed that all the security agencies get involved, especially now. What's the synergy with the police, with the navy, with the army? civil defense, other security agencies. What's your synergy like when you talk about um, disaster management, especially when we're narrowing it down to the flood issues in Anambra State? Excellent. Okay, great. As I am speaking to you now, mm -hmm. the, 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 the heads of sister agencies okay. are presently having the meeting in the office of the Commissioner of Police. Currently, as we presently. speak. Presently. Okay, and part of the agenda of the meeting is how to intervene in this uh, disaster situation. Okay. So we have a, the command has a, a, a an excellent and a robust uh, relationship. Since the commissioner of police, uh, CP Gababa assumed duty as the commissioner of police and arrested, the relationship between the police and other agencies is increasing in geometric progression. Oh, which is great to hear. Yes. Okay, so we're not just leaving everything to the police, yes. we're also yes. using everybody, or yes. all, it's like in, in simple English, all hands on deck yes. to tackle this. Yes. Now, is it only a function of the government or should individuals also get involved in disaster management? Uh, I know you've mentioned um, different uh, uh, security agencies and I know you've also mentioned N NGOs that are contributing their own quota. Yes. What about individuals? You see, uh, disaster is a social problem mm -hmm. and a uh, social problem is a condition uh, affecting significant number of people in a way considered undesirable mm -hmm. uh, and it is felt by the majority that something must be done through collective 
social action. So the, the key word so there the is key word collective. There is collective. Everybody, Everybody must be yes, on board. Yes. Okay. Collectiveness is what you said, but I think the in, um, and the, the impression that most of us have, especially in this climb of the world, is that everything must come from the government. And you and I know that that's not 100% feasible. So what would be your, when I use the word advice or encouragement to get other people involved in ensuring that they also know that people are going through, I mean, whenever there's a disaster, there's, there, it, 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 it's one, unexpected. Two, li lives, properties are lost. I, 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 I know that We've lost a lot of farmlands yes. during this process, so it the, in there, indirectly affects the whole society. Yes, one is going to ensure that you know the produce of harvest is less. I know farmers have tried to do uh, premature harvest to see what they can salvage. So, what would you say? Yes, it's uh, like you earlier mentioned the effect of this uh, flood disaster in the Anambra state. Uh, is uh, enormous mm -hmm. and uh, is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the the lands that were supposed to be used for cultivating, harvesting uh, some uh, crops and mm -hmm. other uh, food items have been ravaged by the flood, especially in this Anaku area and other part of Kubaru. Oh yes. Uh, even now, if you go to the market, you discover that the price of cucumber has increased. So the truth of the matter is that. The, com the community, the society, and every stakeholder have to come in order to support, either directly or indirectly, uh, those victims uh, of those uh, flood disasters. Right. Because uh, you, they, they themselves, they don't know they can fall victim of such a, a disaster. Of some and uh, this disaster can happen to anybody. It can happen anywhere. God forbid. So it is the time where people should now show their humanitarian gesture by way of providing some uh, social services that will uh, ameliorate the sufferings of these victims okay. by way of providing them with relief materials, okay. by way of providing them with money through some endowment funds, by way of providing them with uh, clothes, even if it is your cloth, if you use it, you think that the cloth is not going to be important. Take them to the IDP camps. There are they lost a lot, yes. so they will appreciate yes. all this. There things. are people who will like it and they will pray for you. Well, the program is Security Focus. We're talking to the um, Police Public Relations Officer, SP Haruna Mohammed, and we're talking about the role of police in disaster management. We've talked about the different types of disasters. We've talked about the causes of disaster. And of course, now we're narrowing it down to the flood issues in Anambra State. Um, based on what the PRO has said, the police is playing a very strategic role, one, in ensuring people's lives and properties are secured even when they have to move from one location to the other and also the police is ensuring that relief materials get to people who actually need this intervention so we've talked about different um ways the police can intervene when we talk about disaster management and we've said the individuals should get informed. What else do you want to tell us that the police does? Because, I mean, when we hear police, the first thing everybody thinks is, you know, the regular conventional police. And when we talk about relief, material, oh, sorry, disaster management, I would never have thought that the police plays that civil role also. Mm -hmm. So educate us more. You see, police are not only friends to members of the public, they are also helpers of the public. I've never heard that word. I, we, uh, I, I, I kept but on, I don't know police is your helper. Yes, I kept on saying <laughs> it. You see, uh, another important role the police does uh, during crisis situation or during disaster uh, situation is the collation of actual and accurate statistics. Okay. Uh, we go to the affected areas we take statistics of why why is that important to take statistics the statistic is very important it helps the police in terms of their deployment mm. because for example if the number of people that are affected maybe let's say at 5000 in a particular area mm -hmm. the police know the number of police uh, 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 personnel that will be deployed in order to effectively secure that uh, area so your, your deployment of staff is relative to the number of yes, people yes. that you have to protect yes. or 
you have to you know look after yes okay. for example you don't expect the police to deploy same number of the people to protect 50 people and then 5000 people okay so the coalition of statistics will, absolutely yes necessary. Will, will, will help the police to deploy its uh, personnel effectively and cover the areas affected and this this statistic is also will also assist government as well okay for example the number of victims I'm the, going to uh, ask you that. that yes. Have we had um, casualties, loss of lives? I know that loss of properties has been a lot. Yes. Loss of um, farmlands has been. I know Koshcharis is submerged in yes. water. So many people have lost properties, have lost lands. Schools have been submerged. Children yes. have stopped going to certain schools because those places are submerged by the flood. Yes. Have we had, uh, do we have cases of casualties in terms of deaths? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, the... Uh, you will recall that uh, sometimes at three or three, two to three months ago, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, reported that about two people, to two to three people lost their life to uh, due to flood, uh, flood. And then one uh, a, a vehicle that was conveyed about four people, four people mm -hmm. uh, for March along Nisi area. Okay. And then one person uh, died as a result, and the three others were rescued, and uh, they have uh, were taken to the hostel and they have recovered. Even last week. We have information that a small get uh, uh, lost a, a draw, got drawn in one of the affected areas. Okay. So there are some, uh, some cases casualties. of casualties. Out and even though we know that death, I mean, nobody is happy to hear yes. the, the, your death, whether you know the person directly or not. But based on your statistics, would you say that that's a very controllable or a good number? judging from the kind of um, disaster that we have that we haven't had a lot of loss of lives a human life is human life oh absolutely well, even if it is one life that we lost during mm. disaster it's a major problem okay uh, because life is a uh, sacrosanct and uh, you cannot uh, bring life mm -hmm. uh, it's unfortunate so the most important thing is how to prevent further loss of life okay then the, secondly people should be conscious of their environment Whenever you begin to see new changes, new strange things happening within your environment, you should be able to take proactive measures in order to address it. Disaster is not only restricted to flooding. Absolutely. Disaster can also be attributed to environmental degradation, like I yeah, told that's you. you. When you begin to see things like oil spillage in your environment, when you begin to see a erosion, erosion, erosion mm -hmm. coming down to the bridge mm -hmm. or coming to the road, mm -hmm. you should now raise alarm. Try to try to reach at the constituted authority whose responsibility it is to prevent such kind of so basically, situation. basically, this these are all like preventive yes. measures that yes. we're trying to tackle. Yes. So people should get involved in the preventive measures. Yes. As opposed to just waiting for government uh -huh. or waiting for the security agencies to get involved. Mm -hmm. Once you know things are going bad, yes. Take action before it becomes yes, a disaster. Yes. Okay. Great. Good. Um, we have a few more minutes on the program, and I want to make a passionate appeal. People should get involved, not just in securing lives and properties, but people should also be aware. There was something you said during the program, which you said disaster can happen to anybody. anybody. One of the things that makes it a disaster is because it's unexpected, it's unplanned. So I'm also appealing, using this forum, to appeal to individuals to get involved. There are various local government areas that are holding centers where people are. And you had also mentioned that they, they need relief materials. Yes. Can people bring relief materials to the police too, to the station for you to, 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 to transmit to people? No, they can. They can. They, they are, we have a uh, SEMA. We have a uh, NEMA emergency, uh, emergency, yes, emergency. management agency. So they should channel it to They can channel it through their, uh, their, their pastors, uh, fire reverend fathers. Okay. Uh -huh. they, can, they will now channel it to the appropriate uh, quarters okay they have their traditional rulers they have their leaders they have their religious leaders they have their uh, pgs they have there are so many leaders in every community okay he wants you know that he's a leader and uh, he is recognized by the community as a leader mm -hmm. You can as well channel your this and so you. whatever people need to get to people, mm. they can go through all this. Channels. They can go through this channel and they can do it directly to they can go to to the camps directly and then go drop it there for people. There are there are there are people who are saddled with the responsibility of collecting such material at the various uh, IDP camps. 
Okay, good. This is information that just came in now from the Commissioner of um, um, Public Enlightenment and Information. And he says um, there are centers, um, like you had just mentioned, Anambra State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, which is along Enugu Onitsha Expressway in Oka. Mm -hmm. And then there's the headquarters in um, Obaru local government area, Anyamelum local government area, Oka mm -hmm. North local government area, Anambra East local government area, Anambra West local government area, Onitsha North and Onitsha South, as well as um, Ihiala. Ido, even though Ihiala is not affected, but I think it shares boundary with, um, with one of these communities. And those are the places that they're saying that people should also send relief materials. They, I mean, citizens of Anambra, people that live in Anambra states should send relief materials. Apparently, over a thousand people, sorry, 10,000 people have lost... Um, homes schools offices farms markets and plates um, you know places of, of 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 worship so from the email i just received now he's appealing that people are in desperate need of foodstuff drinking water cooking utensils mattresses mats beds buckets um health care and then sanitary facilities yes. um sanitary towels beating towels soap and things like that and he's also saying that um the national hydrological service agency and the national meteorological agency has warned that anambra and other areas around the river rhine states because there's flooding on the river niger and river benway it's going to extend to these places so people need to be I mean, is it B? People need to be uh, conscious and serious about all what you're saying, that they need to take proactive movement. If they have to move, they need to move. And then that's the only way we can safeguard. I mean, if you can't protect properties because of the flooding mm -hmm. in a particular place, but at least we can ensure that we protect people's lives and property. Yes. We're wrapping up the program, unfortunately. We're going to, but before we go, I'm going to ask you to give us um, the control room number. Is it control room or emergency, emergency number? Emergency number. So people can reach you, reach the police in general and say, this is what's happening. We need relief and intervention intervention yeah. in, 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 on, in certain areas. Yes, in case of uh, distress, in case of uh, uh, assistance, in case of any vital information to the mm -hmm. police, the members of the public are advised to take note of the following numbers. 070-391-9433. Mm -hmm. uh, Let me call the number again. Please do. 70 uh, 391-94332. Then the second emergency number, uh, 080-756-90784. Let me call the number again, uh, 080-756-90784. Then finally, my number, in case you didn't get uh, the control number due to network problem or any other things, you can call my number direct, 080 uh, 609 uh, 70639. Let me call the number again. Uh, 080 uh, 609 70639. You're the only PPRO that I know that gives out his direct number. <laughs> well, the program has been security focused. I just want to thank all of you for being with us and for listening. For those of you that have called, many thanks for that. We're talking with the police public relations officer, SP Haruna. Mohammed, and we've been talking about the role that the police plays in disaster management. We're going to summarize this by saying information has been reaching everybody in Anambra State. ABS has sent a lot of information out. Please take the warning serious. If you're in riverine areas, areas that people have, um, um, SEMA has alerted are prone to the flooding. We have relief centers there. Okay, he wants to put in the last word. What yes. are they saying? Uh, there is a, I have a message from the Commissioner of Police. Okay. Uh, especially for those people who are staying at the IDP camps. Uh, the Commissioner of Police has uh, advised them to be security conscious mm -hmm. uh, of their environment, uh, especially in this uh, situation at the camp, cases of uh, uh, rape, cases of uh, molestation, cases of... Uh, uh, harassment mm -hmm. uh, is bound to uh, happen. So anybody uh, that uh, found himself in such place should be security conscious. Whenever he noticed any strange behavior or any act that is considered criminal, he should not hesitate to report through the numbers that I have uh, supplied in order to enable the police to take a prompt uh, 
and time uh, timely uh, intervention. Okay, good. So thanks for joining us. We're running out of time, but please, and it's also an appeal to individuals, try and give out something to people in relief centers. They really, 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 truly need our help. Thank you so much. My name is Ifanaya Mafli. Join us next week, Wednesday, one o'clock to two o'clock. Have a good afternoon.